how to use canva presenter view training for zoom hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can use the canva presenter into your zoom meeting or your zoom presentation it is very easy and simple to do all you have to do as always follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go now we have to open canva.com as you can see, this is the website of Canva. Here, we have to make sure to connect to our account or sign in. It is very easy to sign up if you don't have an account already, but it is also very easy to choose the uh, Google account and you will be good to go without any informations. Now, let's go ahead and create a presentation. Then we are going to present it on Zoom here we have the presentation i have chosen uh, this uh, template or this size of the template i'm going to wait for here for the template to be ready and i am going to add some elements let's go ahead and add for example a background color this is the first step that i'm going to do this uh, background i'm going to add more pages let's go and say that we have a four or five pages like that make this to that and here we go I'm going to add some elements let's go ahead and add some elements to our presentations here we have some graphics I'm going to add some graphics like that and let's say that we are going to add some stickers like that and for the second page I'm going to add some shapes let's go ahead and add some shapes these shapes will be colored for example i'm going to put it transparent not but white like that and here we go uh, also i'm going to load a a project that i have created or something like that i'm going to make this at the uh, middle right here also for this uh, slide number three and four i'm going simply to add some text for example let's go ahead and add a font like that i'm going to make a, a white font like this to be able to appear on the text and finally i'm going to add a photo uh, let's say uh, let's go ahead and choose uh, for example articles here i'm going to use a photo like that simply with this this is just a presentation or a demo on how you can put the presentation then the second thing that you need to do is to go to zoom.us this is the website again i'm going to sign in right here with my account of google a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as uh, email addresses google accounts are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses here we have to put or sign in uh the year of birth this is for educators here for example i am going to create a simply an account it doesn't matter for educator or not here i am going to see now after you have opened this platform you have the option to download the zoom on your desktop and start streaming or making the content or you can go ahead and use the web app like that click on this section click also on meetings here it will show you the meetings and here we have the personal meeting id you can share this id with the uh, visitors or the colleagues and then simply you are going to click on start this is how to start a meeting on zoom it will be shown in the meeting and for this now we have a meeting going on now we have you can also join the audio by the computer it is up to you let's go ahead right here back to canva click then on present this is the second thing that you need to do click on here present and here we have the presenter this is the normal uh, presenting when you are sharing the screen but in our case we are going simply to select the presenter viewer now i'm going back right here and re 
we have already positioned at this image click on present presenter viewer i'm going to click present and here it will show us two screens here we have the audio window we don't need that i'm going to uh, close this uh, audio uh, details i'm going to make this window smaller and do we have the canva window i'm going to click on got it and here we have the canva uh, window for streaming and also we have this window this is for the audience though that what can they see now simply i am going to the zoom and to see this in a uh, zoom you are going to click on the zoom window right here and as you can see you are sharing a window when you click on this it will show up the window that you are sharing and here we have the window it will only appear this piece of window that you can see and you are good to go this is for the case of the window showing you can go ahead also and stop sharing this window i'm going ahead to click on share screen if you don't want to uh, share only that window you have some options you can share the entire screen that they will see whatever you are going to do on your pc or on your desktop or you can also uh, charge or share a specific uh, Microsoft uh, Edge window tab since it is opened this is uh, very simple click on any window that you have for example you will see the preview right here here you have to make sure that uh, the uh, audio tab is uh, turned on or enabled and you click simply on share that is very simple and here to share the audio share a tab or screen instead here it will automatically share the audio here to make sure that everything goes well with the video for example if you are going to share a, a video camera or the audio all you have to do is to refresh the page if something is not going well then you have to reproduce the process of uh, sharing the screen and then you are going to click on join by audio computer here you have to allow the microphone and also you have to allow the video here you have to allow these that was very simple and here we have also the participant if you have showed the link to somebody else for example or you have shared with it that was all for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one